Gold is a Mexican focused uh, company and uh, we're primarily silver despite our name, Gold Gold. But um, <clears throat> our projects are in Mexico and our management team have, uh, most of us have been in Mexico our entire career. Um, I myself have spent the last 25 years in Mexico and um, capital structure for the company. We're very well financed. We have a strong balance sheet. We have exploration plus we do have production at our uh, Peral operation where um, we uh, have been producing now for seven and a half years. But on the, on the uh, balance sheet, we have uh, 278 million uh, shares and cash of just over 60 million US uh, and uh, also a large receivable from the Mexican government, that's VAT tax, but uh, we always get it all back. It takes a little while, but we do get it back. Uh, no debt and about 20% of the ownership is uh, insiders. I myself am the second largest uh, shareholder of the company. We're about 50% uh, institutionally held. We have some of the um, uh, large institutions in uh, our space. Uh, and we also are part of the GDX and the GDXJ indexes. So Gold Gold, um, we've been, well, we've uh, been involved in other companies over those years, actually four, the technical group, we built three mines and in fact, maybe we refurbished a fourth, but Gold Gold has been around now for the last uh, 12 years and that's been our focus. Now Gold Gold, um, on the expiration front, we had Santa Gratuitous and we have Los Ricos. Uh, we were fortunate in 2018 to uh, sell Santa Gratuitous to Ignico Eagle. We acquired that from $9 million. We invested with $11 million, And then we uh, sold it to Ignico three years later for uh, $95 million. And again, we have our operating mine, Peral, uh, which has been producing for seven and a half years and uh, has another seven years of reserves in front of it. But the real driver of the company is Los Ricos. And um, Los Ricos, which is located in the state of Jalisco, actually just two hours outside of the city of Guadalajara, about uh, uh, good infrastructure. You drive there on a, most of the way on a four lane highway. And um, the project is uh, spans over 35 kilometers of approximately 35 kilometers. I'll draw that here for scale. This is the claims map. And really it's two groups of claims, Los Ricos South and Los Ricos North. A little bit of the history of the um, project, uh, our, our history with the project. It's, it's one that we've known about for uh, over a decade. And uh, we're following, looking for an opportunity to uh, get involved in this district. And in uh, 2019, March, that opportunity became available to us. So first we acquired 29 concessions in the district for about seven and a half million dollars US. And um, we started our operations in Las Rico South where we had a critical mass of claims where we could uh, drill. So we uh, drilled 40,000 meters in Las Rico South and uh, we defined uh, 63 million ounces of silver equivalent in the uh, measured and indicated, and another 20 million ounces of, of inferred. Now, today we have 44 claims. We've been consolidating over the last two years additional claims. And where we did a lot of the consolidation was Los Ricos North. There, we didn't start up drilling right, uh, right away when we in 2019 because we were missing some critical claims. So we were able to consolidate those and uh, get to the uh, claim count that we have today, which is 44 claims. We may have a little bit of more, more consolidation coming, probably in, in uh, Los Ricos South. We would like to consolidate another claim between our two claim blocks down there. But what have we accomplished since we've been there in, um, uh, since we've been there in March of 2019? Well, we, we accomplished that um, uh, resource in the South. And most recently, we um, completed a, a mineral resource in Los Ricos North. And there we were um, with about 106,000 meters of drilling over the last uh, 15 months. We defined 87 million ounces in the indicated and another 73 million ounces in the inferred. 
That along with what we have in Las Rico South gives the project a total ounce count of about 244 million ounces. Something else I'd like to point out here, our ounces are uh, bulk mineable, the majority of them, and uh, meaning open pit or underground bulk mineable is the way that we view them. Now we showed that in Los Ricos South, we've completed uh, the first economic study around the deposit, that 83 million ounces. And we showed um, a PEA open pit, two thirds of that, uh, those ounces, and the remaining one third in a bulk underground mine. And that generated a net present value in the south of 295 million US. And that's at a $1,550 gold price and a $21 silver price. So if we look at the larger resource that we've just defined in Los Ricos North, and we, and we uh, I just mentioned the numbers on that resource, but if we look at the pit constrained part of it, or what we see may form uh, open pits in Los Ricos North, and, and a, a 29 gram cutoff, silver equivalent cutoff in the open pit, we'd see a grade of 122 for the indicated and 107 for the inferred. Now, if we picked a slightly higher cutoff, we'd have uh, 147 for the indicated and 129 for the inferred, and about 140 million ounces within uh, those uh, resource pits. And it's interesting to note as well that 94% of the ounces that we define in this resource do fall within the pit constrained category. So again, looking at Los Ricos North where we just released that uh, resource, what you see there are the um, block models of those open pits. They're all within about a three kilometer um, radius. And that's really just the start in uh, Los Ricos North. We've em embarked on another 100,000 meters of drilling, which would bring the total drilling on the property when we finish that up to 250,000 meters. We are operating one of the largest uh, exploration drill programs in Mexico last year and this year again. And um, for Los Ricos North, we feel that the exploration over the next 12 uh, to 15 months will continue to deliver on those strong exploration results and accelerate the growth in ounces at a, we think can be a pretty continual rate. One thing that we wanted to make very clear to our shareholders with that resource that we just published was that that was just a point in time that we had finished 100,000 meters and we had told our shareholders that when we're gonna drill 100,000 meters, when we got there, we would define what resource we had at that point. But we just continued the next day after data cut off with nine drill rigs and away we go. So in Los Ricos North, the next 100,000 meters of drilling, we're gonna focus on a new one new area called Gran Cabera. And Gran Cabera, we're actually just starting that uh, first drill hole into Gran Cabera today. We've been working up there now for about six months, mapping and sampling. And we see a structure that um, runs for about 1.7 kilometers along the surface. And um, where we've been able to map, we see areas that are greater than 20 meters in width. So that Gran Cabrera is just to the north of our block model resource that we just published. You can see those down here in black. And this is the next target Gran Cabrera. So that's one that's going to be very exciting over the uh, next several months as we hopefully by the end of February, uh, we traditionally go to or typically go to um, the Bank of Montreal's Metals and Mining Show. And we hope to have the first holes at Grand Cabrera for that show at the uh, end of February. Now, another area in Las Ricos North that we're very, very confident that we're gonna add more ounces with the drilling we're doing right now. And in fact, we have uh, several drill holes that are post data cutoff for the last resource. And that's the uh, El Favor, and in particular, El Favor East. So in El Favor East, we, we just discovered that actually um, from geophysics coming close to our data cutoff point for the last resource. And in fact, we extended the um, period of time. We delayed the resource for a couple months 
uh, because we wanted to get some of that new discovery into that resource that we um, just uh, published on December 7th. So the only issue there was that um, there was one road that made it, that paralleled the deposit, that made it uh, easy to get a lot of, uh, get, get some holes in very quickly. Now, the issue was that those holes intercepted the ore body about 125 meters below surface. So um, we could extend the, uh, from the drill intercept up about 70 meters or inferred, but didn't make it all the way to surface. Well, we know the ore body goes to surface. We've sampled it on surface. So um, now what we're doing is updip drilling because what we had so far didn't extend the resource pit because that material or that top 70 meters would be viewed as waste until we got some drill holes into it. So that's, um, you know, it's very um, obvious how we include that into the next revised resource, and that'll be part of the plan. The other thing in El Favor East is that we did geophysics, and in fact, that's how we, or in El Favor, we did geophysics over what we knew existed, and there's a very good correlation. So we extended that geophysics to the east, and that's how we uh, discovered El Favor East. But we do have three ge geophysical targets out there that uh, still need drilling. So those are on the slate now for um, drilling in the um, coming months with that 100,000 meter drill program. I will mention one other thing. We've done a lot of uh, consolidation in the district. We started with 29 claims and we're now up to 44. Well, it's, it's pretty obvious this one right here, which we've been working on. And there's a, a good probability that we'll get that. Um, and if we bring that in, that opens up uh, an extension of that 83 million ounces that we drilled off in Las Rico South. But that structure goes through those 2.7 kilometers that today we don't have, but we hope to get those. And right back onto our claims again, where we follow the structure again for five kilometers. And we've been doing work up there for the last uh, several months. And uh, we see some really good drill targets up there as well. So in 2022, it's gonna be continued Los Ricos North, Los Ricos South, uh, we'll start up drilling there again. And we're at 244 million ounces in the district right now. And we see that um, climbing at the same kind of pace as we had over the, well, the last uh, almost three years. One thing that's uh, another notable thing about the resources that we have defined, our finding costs for silver equivalent ounce has been less than 15 cents US. So that's a great value equation. If you can find uh, through expiration, ounces at 15 cents, and your market is giving you in the, in the dollars per silver equivalent ounces. Very quickly, we do have an operation in Peral. We produce between two and 2.2 uh, 2 million ounces a year. We've been doing that for the last seven and a half years. We have seven years of reserves left. It's a large tailings retreatment and agglomerated heat leach. We've really perfected that. It has, um, last year, especially when the silver price was up over $26, $27, it funded all of our exploration, which is $2 million US a month, and our GNA. Currently at these prices, it's funding a part of our exploration and all of our GNA as well. So with all of, with all of that, uh, Peter, thank you for the opportunity presenting. Uh, gold, gold, and I'll hand it back to you.